Okay, so since we have had a, a request for videos for this machine, I will go ahead and do that. This is the 1898 Singer 27. I went ahead and cleaned it, oiled it, you know, got as much dirt off of it as I could in the first pass, and uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, in order to actually sew with it, though, we have to wind bobbins thread, and thread the machine first. So, let's give that a shot. Just so you know, this is my very first time doing this. It might be a disaster. I don't know. We'll find out. Bobbin. Okay, so... This is the bobbin winding mechanism. First thing is we have to pull it forward so that it it's on the uh, on the belt there. I have thread here, <clears throat> so I'm eventually going to get a felt pad, so I won't have to use that if I don't want to. But this is what we're doing for the mold, and we're going to pull it here. All right, so it's going to go through here. And it's going to go through this loop here, and then this, and then the bobbin. My bobbin does not have a hole in it, so I am going to wrap it around the end to secure it, and in theory, and put it in the mechanism. So this little guy comes out not going anywhere. All right, so it's going to go through here, and it's going to go down here. All right, so in theory, it should wind. Let's see what happens. Not terribly experienced at the treadle either, but we're doing it. Should be fine for now. Okay, so all right, one full bobbin. All right, thing two, bobbin needs to go into the machine. So this is a vibrating shuttle machine and first thing I need is to remove the shuttle. Alright, so that's that there. So bobbin goes in the shuttle. Thread goes through here, it goes down, and then it's supposed to come back up again. This is not easy. No, oh, there we go. No. How is it supposed to go through there? Maybe I'm not turning it enough. I think I need practice. All right, so I went ahead and threaded the bobbin. You pull it down through here and you have to pull it pretty tightly to get it to come back up 
and it'll snap through here. So you can see it goes over this and under there. It's kind of tricky to do, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so this goes back in here. Notice that the shuttle carrier is forward and you put it in point first. Shuttle carrier is forward, and you go in point first. So that's good. Next up, this dealie. So we're gonna go through here. I'm gonna go around the tensioner discs. There's a slot right here. You're gonna get the spring. And go through the loop in the arm. Make sure the spring caught. There you go. There is another loop right here. this loop here and then through the needle so can I even see the eye of the needle yeah it threads from left to right Let's see if I can actually get it in there I can't see it very well <laughs> Actually, I'm really good at this with my other machines. Don't you know this is going to be a thing that trips me up? Ten hours later, I have successfully threaded the machine. Thank you very much. It took a little while. Sorry for the delay. Okay, so now in theory we should be able to rotate this and pull up the bobbin thread. Let's see what happens. successfully threaded. Yay, all right. So let's see if we can actually sew, sew a little bit. So this is a straight stitch machine is all it does is straight stitching. Um, there is no backwards. So there is no back and forward to lock your stitches or anything like that. Um, it is literally just straight. So uh, let's give it a try. literally the first stitches that I've done with this and as you can see there's a tension issue we'll get that sorted in time but huzzah 
it works.